everyone wants to do this part of the work you know everyone wants to go out and work with their hands and and, and be out in the field and and not really focus on you know the things that's going to bring you in money money for your business the blood of your business right so you got you, you, you must sit down and do the bids okay it doesn't matter now this is more of a, a commercial project but it doesn't matter if it's a commercial project. It doesn't matter if it's a residential. It doesn't matter if it's a, it's a small handyman job. You have to sit down and do the due diligence as an owner, at least until you get to a place where you want to hire an estimator, where you want to hire a project manager slash estimator, where you don't have to put in this time anymore. I don't really enjoy doing a lot of this. It's not my, uh, I don't wake up in the morning and say, hey, I want to be an estimator. I'm ready to, to bid on five projects and, and let's get this going. No, but I know that for the work that I bid on, this is not a lot of, it brings me, it brings me more in than, put, than time that I'm putting out. If that makes sense. It brings me more in than the time I'm putting out. But I have to sit down and, and, and sit still. See, a lot of us, especially new in the game, we can't sit still. We can't, like, sit down and really do the admin part of things. And that's why we don't turn the bids on time. That's why we, we don't invoice it. We don't invoice, you know, on time. This is why we fail and don't bring in the money where it needs to be right you need to be good at doing this too right and some of you are watching this like i can't watch this i, I can't do this I, I need to watch something with a little bit more action but at the same time you need to watch this it's not hard at all and there's and i'm actually doing this on a free program i have another uh estimating uh, a takeoff program that i pay for that i do takeoffs with okay and then it it helps me be faster at getting my estimates done. And that's what's key. That's why we should take classes to learn how to get faster because we're not thrilled at doing this as, as construction entrepreneurs, as owners. It's not like we're not excited about doing this stuff, okay? So we need to put tools in place, have systems in place. That way we can get this done a lot sooner, a lot quicker. And that way we don't have to be dealing with other thing that way we don't have to be dealing with the, the 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 that way we can put our focus and time on things that does matter within our business okay and this is this right here is working on your business and not in your business this is working on your business okay so you gotta understand this if you out there doing work and you can't provide enough work to where this company is making money and is paying you a salary, then you're not doing this right. Then you need to go back and go get a nine to five. Then you need to put in time and effort and, and energy into figuring out how this will make you money. What do you need to do? What do you need to change? What classes you need to take? What programs you need to get with? And you need to get in them. And that's it. And that's how you do it. People ask me, dude, what, 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 how, do I, how do I get up to a level that you're at? How do, I, how do I bring in the money I need to bring in for my family? How do I do that? By doing the things you don't want to do. That's how you do it. All those things you're putting on, all those things you're like, oh, that's not me. Now, uh, now yes, we do say play on your strengths and have others do uh, the things that, are, that you're not great at, that you're not good at, right? But the estimating part is what you need to be, is what needs to be your strength. This is your business here. So you need to get good at this. And you've got to understand your learning curve. Sometimes you do need to pay someone to help you get better at this. Sometimes you do need to take a class. Sometimes you do need to adopt to a system. Sometimes you do need to take training. Okay? Invest in you so you can invest that back into your business remember that invest in you
So my construction entrepreneurs, that's the end of that. Kind of just watching me move around. I was doing a takeoff to some concrete areas for a new school we're bidding on, but I got like five other jobs that I need to, you know, hustle on and, and really turn out very fast, very fast. So I'm actually going to use a different system that allows me to do quicker takeoff and spits out the calculations that I need based on the square footage that I measure. So <clears throat> if you don't have an estimating system, you need to get one. And the reason why you need to get one is because as owners, we need to uh, be as quick as possible, right? Time. Every, everything is about time. It's about, oh, wow, the lighting is bad, huh? Everything is about time and, and, and how, how, how you get things done quickly. And that's what it's really about. So having the right system in place um, is, is key. Right. It doesn't matter what trade you're at. It doesn't matter if it's landscaping, doesn't matter if it's uh, electrical, low voltage, painting, framing, metal stud framing, uh, drywall, <clears throat> having something that you can actually do a takeoff on, square up, square up and then have uh, uh, um, assemblies put into that. So it can actually split out how many drywall pieces you need, how much mud you need, how much tape you need, uh, how much paint you need. Uh, how much concrete, rebar, right, um, is it, it's, it's speed, right? Now, with this system here that I just did, it doesn't do that, you know, but you definitely, if you're not ready to make a purchase uh, as far as an estimating system like that, then definitely um, uh, purchase some type of estimating system, right? So if, if you can't purchase a system that has estimating with takeoff, capabilities, then just get an estimating system. And once again, I'm a plug, okay? You can get the CES estimating systems through us, uh, which is about $300. We'll be posting some videos on that so you can kind of see us navigating through it and how easy it is to use. So you can actually use the free tool of the PDF that I just showed you to do your takeoffs, right? And then you have to do a manual material count based on that square footage takeoff. And then you'll upload that into the CS, uh, uh, the CES estimating system. And then you'll figure out your labor, your, your labor burden, your overhead. We'll train you on how to use that system. Um, <clears throat> and then you'll just go ahead and plug away on your activities, on your residential job, your commercial job, your industrial job, whatever type of project that you have. So I'm going to let you go with that, my construction entrepreneurs. Make sure you check out the other videos. And if you gain something from this, then go ahead and subscribe. Stop looking behind that wall like I don't see you. And you're looking at these videos without subscribing. I got you. So remember, hustle hard, then hustle harder. See you on the next one.